It's like very <laughs> good. Javi. Nice to meet Come you. Come from Southwest United. And um, I just want to ask you a few questions about your background in the Bronx and how you think about the New York initiative. And so the first question started where we are right now, the New York initiative. How do you think about this? How do you think it will affect the little kids growing up in the future? Uh, I think it's great to have 50 pitches where kids can play. You know, I didn't, I didn't have this when I was younger. I know there's not many fields where kids can, can can go play, especially that the pandemic happened, so it's good that kids got somewhere to go, you know. It's not like you're just trapped inside, you know, people, parents are working and stuff like that, so I think it's a big benefit on the community. Um, so, go back to the Bronx, um, you're the first home, homegrown player from the Bronx to play for NYCFC. How does it feel to play in your hometown, basically, in the uh, stadium, Yankee Stadium, in the Bronx? How does uh, it feel? It's good, it's good, you know, close to family. Anything I need, you know, it's in arm's reach. So I feel like <laughs> there's no better, there's no better situation. Like I'm in the best one possible. You're basically living the dream. For sure. Um, so being being a young player in NCC, what is your biggest challenge in a professional environment, professional career that you're having? What's the biggest challenge that you've faced yet? Ah, uh, the biggest challenge. I've had a lot, <laughs> actually. I had a couple injuries, um, just trying to prove myself, you know, I'm young, you know, I don't want to be looked at as uh, for future, like I want, obviously, I want success to be as soon as possible, so, yeah, I, I just feel, yeah. So I, I know that next week is going to be the first round of the playoffs, but let's just forget about this season, what will be your personal goals for 2022 season and for soccer and maybe if you want to mention your life as well that could be it if you want. Uh, that's a good question but I'm, I'm, I'm more one to focus on currently right now you know what I'm saying before I move on to that but I can give you a little taste I just want to be better than what I did this season that's about it. So we know that with the injury of Tuna, Tuna Home and the defense is still like sort of not there yet you could have a big shot of starting and playing for Atlanta, how does it feel to play in that playoffs in Yankee Stadium because you guys earned that home playoff? It's a great question. Um, it, feels, it feels amazing, you know what I mean? It feels amazing. I just hope I take advantage of my opportunities that I get. All right, so now I want to get out of soccer real quick and talk about yourself. What is one thing that you feel that you could bring to New York City in general or to the Bronx? One thing outside of soccer that you think from your heart you could bring to the Bronx? That's a good question and a deep question. Yeah, deep question. <laughs> That's a deep question. Um, I just say passionate, you know, passionate about what you do. I say just be passionate with about what you want to do, literally. I feel like once you have that, anything is possible. So you have, I have a couple of my friends or my teammates or my old teammates that play with you and look up to you as well because not a lot of people from the Bronx get the yeah. opportunity you have. How does you show your sense, like your leadership in that and how you feel like keep inspiring these young people in the Bronx? Uh, I just feel like I don't take anything for granted, you know. I'm grateful for where I've gotten here. I know that I put in the work. I just feel like when, once you do that, then you'll be fine. <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you so much for asking the questions. For sure. Cyber United, we appreciate it. Everything and I hope good luck in the next week and hopefully you guys can make it to the next round. For sure, thank you, thank you. Thank you, appreciate that. No problem, bro. Thank you.